Hey everybody, Daily Devotion. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm running a minute late. And we missed yesterday. That happens actually a lot on Mondays. Um, Mondays, I try to uh, sometimes just, you know, step back from things and, uh, you know, just think on the weekend and, and meditate on the weekend experience and, and what God did. And so sometimes I do that on Mondays. Plus my kids at school off yesterday. So Huntley and I and uh, one of Huntley's friends, took off and uh, went and had some fun at the beach early in the morning. Um, today we want to jump into our daily devotion pretty quick, but um, I just wanted to say hi and uh, thank you guys all for joining and uh, thank you guys for praying with us. Uh, we're, we're currently exploring options um, to find a new building and uh, we went and toured one last night. Uh, some of our you know, core group, we went and, uh, and, and checked it out and you know, we're just, we're praying God's will be done. and. Um, we'll see what happens. And uh, as one of our favorite saying is at Coast Church, you never know. You never know. So let's jump into uh, the daily devotion today. Um, the idea behind these is really um, not so you can just be entertained, not so you can just see my, my uh, you know, bald head sometimes or, you know, whatever, um, but so that God can speak to you right in the middle of the day, wherever you're at, whatever you're facing. I believe that God is with you. He's for you. And he wants to give you something that can, can build up the inner man, the inner woman. Um, so let's jump in. We're, we're trying to, uh, in these daily devotions, actually just kind of piggyback off the messages that are preached on Sundays. And so um, we're in a series right now called The Makings of a Movement. And Sunday I preached uh, from the title, every movement has a moment, every movement. Actually, you can't even spell the word movement without M-O-M-E-N-T. So every movement has a moment. And I think there's this interesting part of Christianity a lot of times where we like to rely on our head knowledge, right? We, we dive into the scripture, we dive into the word. And we like to rely on what we know. And, um, and there's been whole movements that are so about what they know, but never have any experience. Um, it, you know, so much of faith is, is based on what we don't know and allowing ourselves to be open. Jesus said it like this. He said, you gotta lose your life. Paul said it like this. I count all my knowledge as dumb, right? Or horse excrement really is what he said. Um, he said, I, I just, I don't worry about what's up here, but I want to know him in the power of the resurrection, in the fellowship of his suffering. Um, there's a Fast Company article, and I shared it on Sunday. I felt to share it again today um, from the magazine called Fast Company. It says, psychologists have discovered that in assessing the experiences we've had, we don't average our minute by minute sensations. In other words, we're not the average of how we felt minute by minute throughout the day, but we literally tend to ignore, it says, or forget most of what happened and we focus on a few particular moments. We focus on the moments, the peaks, it says, the pits and the transition. Life is more than what you know. Life is your experience. It is what you go through. And I'm telling you, God wants to give you an experience. We talked about the Acts chapter two experience that Jesus promised, the infilling of the Holy Spirit, speaking in another tongue. That is something that God gave the book of Acts church and it's for us today. I've experienced it. So many people at our church have experienced it. It is there, it is real, and I want you to experience it. Jesus said it like this. He said, he said God is looking for those to worship him in spirit and in truth, in spirit and in truth. And he's asking us, yes, get the head knowledge. Yes, get into the word of God. Uh, we're gonna be starting CSTI soon, uh, you know, Bible school, um, a, a night school at our church. We're gonna be starting that soon. Yes, get the head knowledge, but don't forget to allow those spiritual moments and experiences that God has to impact your life in a real way. Read the scripture. But let the scripture read you get into the scripture but let the scripture get into you because i'm telling you if you if you deny the scripture if you just read it and you don't let it work on you it doesn't do you any good the bible said that it's like a man that goes and looks in the mirror and then he forgets what he looks like it's like going looking in the mirror oh i've got a i've got a booger on my face and then you just walk off and you forget it and you never clean your face 
clean up. Let the word clean you on the inside. Get in moments with God. Get in experiences with God. And that happens in prayer. That happens in community and coming together. That happens in worship. That happens when you open up your heart and say, God, I don't understand all the spirit world stuff, but Lord, here I am, God, and I am yours and I'm trusting you. That's a powerful thing. This has been your daily devotion. Thank you for joining us on the Coast Church channels here on Instagram and on Facebook. And I'm gonna try and make this available on YouTube. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna try and save the video off Instagram. We'll get it over on YouTube. Um, see how that happens today or see how that goes today. Thank you guys for joining us. God bless you. We'll see you on the next one.